Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dread Time Stories. I'm your host, Dr. Phobia. And tonight, our story comes from the literary series, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the dream. Lexi Morgan had a dream. She was walking up a dark staircase, and when she got to the top, she walked into a bedroom. The bedroom carpet was made up of large squares that looked like trap doors. Each of the windows was fastened shut with big nails that stuck up out of the wood. In her dream, Lexi went to sleep in the bedroom, and during the night, a woman with a pale face, black eyes, and long black hair slipped silently into the room. She leaned over her bed and whispered, This is an evil place. Run away while you still can. Then the black-haired woman grabbed her arm. Lexi awoke with a scream and lay awake for the rest of the night, shivering and shaking with fear. In the morning, she told her landlady that she had decided not to go to Kingston after all. I can't tell you why, she said, but I just can't bring myself to go there. Then why not go to Dorset? The landlady asked. It's a pretty little town, and it isn't too far. So Lexi Morgan went to Dorset. Someone told her she could find a room in a house at the top of the hill. It was a pleasant-looking house, and the landlady there, a plump, motherly woman, was just as nice as could be. Let's look at the room, she said. I think you'll like it. They walked up a dark, curved staircase like the one in Lexi's dream. In these old houses, the staircases are all the same, Lexi thought. But when the landlady opened the door to the bedroom, it was the room in her dream, with the same carpet that looked like trap doors and the windows fastened with big nails. It's just a coincidence, Lexi told herself. Well, how do you like it? The landlady asked. I'm not sure, said Lexi. Well, take your time, the landlady said. I'll bring you up some tea while you think about it. Lexi sat on the bed, staring at all the trap doors and the big nails. Soon there was a knock on the door. It's the landlady with the tea, she thought. But it wasn't the landlady. It was the woman with the pale face and the black eyes and the long hair. Lexi Morgan grabbed her things and fled. That was the dream. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for listening. Like I always say in closing, check under your bed, look in your closet, and sleep with the light on. The life you save may very well be your own. Good night, everyone.